We don't know if he's officially playing, but if, if Brandon Schneider plays and he plays with you, um, what is that like breaking a, a guy in to the league? Like, you know, you're his partner. What is what is your responsibility to kind of help this guy? Uh, try to talk to him a lot and make it make it easier for him on the ice and uh, just uh, trying to be a solid uh, support uh, for him out there. And um, I, I, um, I, I don't know. I haven't been in the organization long enough to know exactly, you know, uh, what type of player he is, but I've, I've heard a little bit and, I, you know, he's, he's supposed to be a good and solid player that, you know, plays physical, which, which, is, uh, which is a good thing. So we'll see. And you never know how how um, certain players react in the first game. So we'll see. Are you generally a big talker? Or are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to be. I mean, obviously, there, there can always uh, be, be more talk because that, that really helps out mm -hmm. there. Um, so uh, I, I want to have a lot of communication on the ice, and, I, and I'm trying to. The road trip so far, um, the team hasn't scored many goals. Yep. How, uh, you know, what has to change, you think, you know, based on last game we played uh, in, in LA? Well, I think last game we didn't really uh, show up at the level that we want to play at. Um, I think we're, we're a bit off. Um, I think we got away from our game. I think we have to play a little bit more straightforward. And uh, the old cliches, but it's true, like, get the puck behind their, their, their D and work them low. And I think... We made it a little bit too complicated for ourselves, and our skating wasn't really there. So um, we just have to get back to basics because when we play play that way, uh, I think that's when we're playing our best best hockey. And um, yeah, it is it is it is the small things that that does it. But um, we have to get back at that. How did you feel coming back to last game as a first game back? Right? No, I, f I felt I felt pretty rusty to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't really great. I I skated a little bit back uh, back in New York. I had one practice and. Um, one, and uh, played a game, so looking feeling better out there now. So should be better. Yeah, it's fine. It is what it is. You know, I th he's he's a good young player, so you know, he's, he's I think he's going to be fine out there. What are your memories of the game against San Jose back in December? In December, oh uh, oh, when we played them at home. Yeah. Oh, they were actually they're good. They played. Uh, they were very competitive, and uh, they played. Uh, they played really hard. Uh, and they, they, they gave us some trouble. I, if I remember correctly, two, one of, yeah, it was a tight game, you know. Uh, a lot of younger players are working hard and they have some good, good skill um, up top, so that we have to be, be aware of. So they're 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 a good team. Special teams for the difference in that one. Strong got the power play goal. But, yep. uh, uh Wanted to ask you about your penalty killing. What, if you were to say, what if there were any categories that make you a great penalty killing team? The tradition is to say that your goaltender is your best penalty killer, but what other things make you a great penalty killing team? Well, that is true, and uh, I think uh, it, there's, there's obviously, depending on what type of penalty killing you want to play, uh, I think we're playing well in, in, within our structure of what we want to do. I think we're, we want to put pressure on, um, on, on the opposition when we have the chance, and I think we've done a good job of that. So. Uh, like I said, keep playing well within our structure. And that goes with the, f the the power play and the five on five too. Uh, that everybody's on the same page, uh, and I think it's been working pretty good for us in the PK so far.